Have you ever played the game Whisper Down the Lane? You know where you get a group of people together and you start with a phrase like, purple socks stink. The first person whispers it to the next person and one by one, purple socks stink turns into something a little different every time. By the time it gets to the last person, it's turned into something crazy like kangaroos ate pink. I mean, how the heck did that happen? It's amazing how the things we say originally can spread like wildfire and turn into something completely different when it's spread around. This is gossip. Gossip takes on more forms than just one though and can often be mistaken for just sharing facts of what you heard. Rest assured that anything that the person who's sharing the information didn't directly tell you probably isn't something for you to go tell other people. In the same way, kind words leave just as much of a mark, only a good kind of mark. The nice words someone said to us make us smile inside because there's something we'll carry with us always as a comfort that we're special and loved. Proverbs says the words of a gossip are like choice morsels. They go down to a man's inmost parts. Is there anything that anyone's ever said to you that really hurt? When you think about it now, can you remember every detail of them saying it like it just happened? I know people that are grown adults, even grandparents who can still remember something mean someone said to them in kindergarten. Isn't that crazy? Even though what we say can seem like no big deal, the Bible calls our tongue a fire, a world of evil that corrupts the whole person and sets the whole course of his life on fire. Whoa, can what we say really do that? I mean, whether we mean them to or not, the things that we say deeply affect those around us and ourselves. Now the type of kind words I'm talking about aren't flattery. Like, oh, I really like your hair. When you really don't, you're just saying that. I'm talking about being real with people and stepping outside of the negative gossip box to say something that'll build up those around you, not tear them down. You'd be amazed at the awesome effect this has on people. Even if people are talking about you, try not to worry about it. In school, if I'd hear that someone was gossiping about me, I'd just think, dude, get a life. Don't you have anything better to talk about? Make it known that you've got a life. And so do they. And there's way better things to do than gossip. You know what? People just might start to respect that.